four and one heading into this one. We're at home. We got TCU. They had a decent fight against UT last week. What what do you what are you thinking about this game so far? Just excited to have a meaningful game at the Jones. You know, a night game at the Jones is always fun. We haven't had many big games there recently because usually by the time we are playing the teams that we want to, we're kind of out of the race or anything like that. So sitting here at four and one, a chance to go five and one against, you know, one of your rivals in TCU. It's going to be a big game. I'm expecting a good crowd there, some buzzing, some throwback jerseys. I'm just excited about the atmosphere. It'll be nice to have that back. So that's just kind of my initial thoughts is I'm just I'm excited to have a big game at the Jones again. That That's that's a meaningful uh, game for your season. Absolutely. Dustin, initial thoughts about this. TCU yeah, Rich matchup. totally right. That win last week helps our – It's kind of a little breath, attitude, right? Just, our just, attitude and the fans' uh, attitude yeah. coming into Saturday. Yeah. So we'll obviously probably be close to sellout. We have a night game. Uh, if we'd have lost last week, this would have been – yeah. Very sparse in the stands and very negative in the in the city. Um, so that's good. Yeah, TCU held on with te- Texas last week, lost by five. Uh, but I still see us as a very close competitor with them. Um, I don't see anything from their team that makes me like super scared of them. Mm-hmm. Um, they got a decent quarterback, kind of like we do. I mean, I'd say our quarterback's better than theirs even. But they they want the run game to try to control everything. I mean, their kid against Texas went for 113, which is a pretty solid day. Yeah. So if we run in a three-man front and not playing the run, we're just going to get smashed all day. So let's not do that. I think we're going to see a good effort out of this. I really do feel like we got a decent shot at going the the, the five and one on this game. Uh, but to get to that five and one, obviously – we need to put points on the board. Uh, Dustin, keys to victory from our offense. What do you think we need to do to pull this off offensively? Turnovers for one, like we just talked about. Yeah. But let's let's not have like a good first half or first quarter and then the next quarter do nothing. Yeah. Like let's try to be a little more consistent throughout the game. Um I mean, yeah, you're going to have some get stopped every now and then. Let's not do three and outs. Let's, I mean, it's all simple, easy stuff, but I just want to see some consistency. We had a good first half, and we come out, and we don't do hardly anything in the third quarter. And the fourth quarter was kind of hit and missed. And so it's like, let's kind of even that out. Um, maybe um, that Brooks, was- initial thoughts on the, on what our offense needs to do to pull this off and, and, and get us to that five-and-one marker that would be – just the perfect setup going into the back half of the season. Yeah, I think one of the keys is going to be our running game here. Uh, TCU got Always, shredded yeah. by Texas last week. And, of course, you know, we've, we're familiar with Bijan, so he's going to do that to a lot of defenses. But, you know, it seems like they're pretty susceptible to the run on defense. And their defense hasn't been performing as well as I thought you know they would at this point in the season they got beat by smu pretty bad you know they let 42 yeah (laughs) points get hung up on them to smu texas had their way with them on the ground so i think you know our running game is going to be a key because that's going to really open things up a little bit more for columbia like dustin said we want them to play safe we don't want them to make turnovers um you know and and a lot of that goes on to your run game if you're able to gash them on the ground if sir roderick's able to get going um, that's going to really help. We need you. to see it for four quarters, and that and yeah. that and that's the thing is that we need to see we that continued. No, we haven't. We we've seen spurts here and there, and that we, we'd see spurts that that's what gave us our initial hope for the season was we'd see spurts and we're like, yeah, they they they're doing all right. They've got these moments where they're great, but it's it's just moments. We need to see mm-hmm. constant, I guess, constant. constant. Go ahead yeah. and look at the defensive side of the ball, Brooks. What do you think we need to be doing on the defense? I mean. Obviously, stopping them, slowing them, keep keep their offense off the field as much as possible. But what, what what do you think that needs to be done specifically for this TCU team? Well, just like our key for me was run game. Key to stopping them is the run game. Dugan's had his way with us the last few times we played him. He's he's been real successful as a quarterback who uh, is mobile. Of course, Sonny Cumby was leading those offenses at the time. Right. But he, he's had a lot of success against us. Their running back uh, is pretty dang good as well. So 
your key is to make Dugan beat you in the air. Like Dustin said, their receivers don't really scare you at all. Uh, his arm, I remember the game last year, was like, oh, man, if we can just make this dude have to throw it yeah, like, at least 20 times, it would be good. But you let him beat you with his feet, and then that's where you get in trouble. So if you can make them go to the air, I think you have a really good shot at this. Now, if they figure your defense out, are you going to make an adjustment? It doesn't look like we're going to. So, you know, hopefully it takes them a while to figure out this defense and not just right away or else we could be in trouble. Um, yeah. Dustin, I mean, initial thoughts for the defense. What, what else What else do you think you could add on to that as far as what, what we need to see out of them? It's going to be about adaptability because of how many injuries we've had. Yeah. In the secondary, I mean – Maybe that's why we're trying not to blitz and pressure and do all that because the guys on the back end can't handle it, um, can't hold their own. Um, I don't know. But it depends who's healthy, who's out there. Um, obviously, we know Muddy Waters is done for the year, but the other two guys, maybe they can be there. Um, yeah, just adapt, stop the run, um, maybe get pressure. Like, we got to quit this three front and yeah. soft back end shit. We, we we need to we need to pack the line a lot more if we're gonna be having to go against a mobile quarterback and I mean realistically what fifty seven carries for four thirty three uh, Evans for TCU's is is having a solid year. This is uh, for those out there that do partake in the shot bets. This is gonna be our first shot bet for uh, for this episode for this week. Uh, TCU is actually a two point favorite. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I guess I get it. They, they put up a better fight against Texas. Uh, but TCU, two point favorite versus Texas Tech at home. Uh, uh, let, let's see. Brooks, take the, take the first whack at this. What's your shot bet and what is your prediction for the actual outcome of this game? I think we have two pretty even teams here. I th- I'm going to go strictly off of home field advantage on this one. Uh, I, I'm going to go Texas Tech to win this game 31 to 27. I think we cover and get to that 5 and 1 record. Dustin, shot bet TCU plus 2 favorite at, at home for Texas Tech. What is your shot bet and what is your prediction for this game? I'm going with Brooks with all the same reasoning. I think we got a little momentum from last week and a little good mojo from that team and that locker room is feeling good with each other, kind of rallying around each other. Um, and that second game of Columbia and Cumby, um, maybe some offense gets evened out, but then the home crowd and the home field advantage really helps against another kind of average type of team. And we can pull that out with that. Um, score prediction. I think it's going to be close. Yeah. I think it's going to be like a West Virginia type game and come down to whoever has the ball last type situation. Um, I'll give us like, let's say 38 to 35. Uh, somewhere in the low 30s there for them. I can't do math right now. 34. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere 32. in there. Yeah. 31. 38 to a little less than 38. <laughs> less than 30, 38 to less than 38. Guess, right. uh, for for my shot bet, uh, I'm definitely gonna gonna ride this out. I'm I'm still on the, the West Virginia high because uh even though they're not like the biggest threat to, to in the Big Twelve this year, they are and have been always a solid team at home. So I'm gonna kinda ride that high a little bit into this game and, and pick Texas Tech. For the shot bet and for the win. Uh, I don't think this is going to be any kind of blowout. I think that they keep this in the 20s. I think this stays no. low. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's going to the, happen. They're both rush. They're both rush happy. That means that they're going to be doing long drives. I think that this gets drawn out and I think it stays in the 20s. Catch y'all at the next tailgate.